complexities turn to pick. Invoker. There we go. Invoker is going to be the choice. It's kind of been a more of a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> against the gyro. Watch bottom. Swindle's going to pop his mango for the... Oh, no. I thought he was going to pop the mango for the Fisher kill on the creep. Nah. I think he'll be able to take the wave all the way back. Bounty, Bounty Rune is going to be there for Dubu, and a race for the Rune at the top lane has led to a chase onto Demon here. Boba follows it up with the Burrow Strike. Abed uh -oh, should be able uh -oh. to hit it home, but no, the Coconut uh -oh. stops him in his spot, and it's going to be Z Freak who actually claims the first blood. Now Z Freak is able to slowly chase down Abed as well. This reminds Firo's me of Firo's got Sun Strike. Do it, Firo. Do it. Do it. Do it. He's oh, no. Uh. No way. Is that what you're <laughs> Come saying, Charlie? Come on, man. No, I'm not throwing sw shade at Swindle. <laughs> He's played really well in the series. He has. Oh. Move for Firo here. Bubble leading in. Set up from the smoke play. Dubu's also getting in on the action. And uh, this should lead to a swift takedown. Firo really has no place to run. And suddenly DC are going to be able to get their mark on the board. Oh, I guess he was out of lane for a really long time when they chased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why. Because so I was looking at him, he's like, he's still level 4 and Firo's level 5 and they just killed him? Ray down as well. Z Freak gets a nice pick on that on the top lane. And uh, he's already rotating over. Abed is very far forward in his positioning. Demon's going to get things started. Throws out the coconut. The Sun Strike could be there as well, but Abed runs to the other side, but it doesn't matter. We'll end up going down. The follow up, Bulba. TP's in. Doobie's like, ah, I'll drop a kinetic field and run the other way. I do like this different look from that. If if you buy boots first, you upgrade courier. You should, probably. and then the high position can get his boots. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, top lane. Move for move. He's gonna be forced to dish out the call down, and then turns around and barrages Bulba apart. Forever trying to get on it, finds up with Demon. The coconut stuns him down. Dubu will still be able to get the finish on the move, but this could turn into three kills if Demon could do it. Can't quite move in close enough for the last right click without too much tower damage, so he'll pull off. Turns into a two point trade, and we're not done yet. Abed gets the finish on Z. Approach for Rev, doesn't even. And now he does. Then he have the point into the lasso, but now an arcane rune lasso could be coming their way. They've right got a the big thing And uh, they go right in. And after the Burrow Strike does conclude, they will stack on top of it with the lasso. He is able to go into the Ghost Walk, though, but they have the Dust Ready, and Dragon Slave will help get the finish. Abed picks that one. That's a great question. Okay, I'm not too sure, though. Bulba to the low ground, eats a rocket. Oh, he's going to commit in for it with the call down Rocket Barrage. That will do it. But yeah. Like, um... When, you know when he was kicked, like oh. there was this... Okay, we got it. Yeah, movement in from DC. Instant Laguna onto Firo. Maldic is going to find connection on the Bulba, and they'll have to settle their lasso James. onto Demon. Demon is going to be going down first in this fight. Sunstrike finds connection onto Ferev. He'll be going down. Now they're looking to go with Bulba. Bulba, dead. Makes it a two-for-one trade. Play with. Yeah, yeah, this is history. I remember there was like EG games he missed because he wanted to go to the gym and stuff, you know? <laughs> well, gotta get When swole. he went to the Philippines and played with TNC, he went down on bottom. That's a really good uh, setup story. It zoned them all off, but uh, Swindles goes for round two, stepping in with the dunk. The call down also there. Bulba diving in down south. They will get the chase and get the finish. The Moo also goes down. Mason able to make it away before the Fissure does come out. And it's going to be a one for one, but with Moo going down on complexity side, it makes it a Blackerty clearing. Speaking of drugs, they've got a hopped up gyrocopter. Yeah. Just went through, through uh, ancient stacks. Straight oh God, to Halbert, but bottom lane where he's going to have to get in attendance here. We have stacks were committed down below with the retreat out for Ev. He's going to try to take a package with him. Grab the hold of a uh, little swindle here, but he gets a glimpse back to the other side. Sun Strike just a bit off its mark, trying to go for Dubu, but Dubu is spotted under that track and eventually will get. Torched up by Moo. The rest of the DC squad hasty on their retreat. Any other mana region items? Now your hero's already slow enough um, yeah. when it comes to rotations and what you accomplish. Oh, bottom. Well, hard move oh. in. It is going to be a lot of pressure onto Mason. They hit him with a fissure, and then the smack on the back coming out should get it in. But Abed also going to get the finish onto Z Freak at that same moment up across the world up here. Back below, though. Still action breaking out. Swindle in a bit of trouble here. Hit with the Thunder Strike, but here comes Firo and Demon looking to zone back for Ev. Can they catch up with Tornado? No, oh, they can't. They'll shift down low, and Abed will begin to sweep in. A bit low on mana, though. Look at this. They get a good glimpse back. This one for Demon. 
looks like they should be able to get a few right clicks. Can he get denied? No. I bet we'll be able to pick that one too. Well, the piece, you know. Dubu just has to pick up three of them and he's good. Scan from Radiant right in front of the Roche Pit actually reads positive, but it's a smoked complexity team who are beginning their wrap up towards the top lane. It looks like Perev is in quite a bit of trouble. Spotted out under that track. They'll set it up with a Fissure Blink in and get the extra bit of money this one. He's very relevant for probably another 50 minutes, but after that he does start dropping. Imagine you gotta do what you can here. You're looking at a lineup on complexity side that just scales better overall throughout the game, and this is a big power peak for you for at least 15 minutes. Let's do it. Bulba might have just spotted out Z-Trick, it looks like. It's a moment of dust, and the two of them begin to go to work. Stun's there, and Mason will the last. It fights all together during the duration of the Sages, and knowing that you just kind of can continue to be a bigger problem in the later game. I mean, they'll farm, but the problem is when they get caught farming. Boo, close to that Roche area still, doing the Ancient Camp. is now going to get hit up. Bulba lead it in with the stun. Perev locks him as follow-up with the lasso, and as a cherry on top. Drop down his own call down at the back end of that one. Now, Rev catches. Maybe Complexity have just been that much faster, but here again, we'll be able to narrowly make it away. Radiant's courier has been killed. Rev will back out the other direction. Meanwhile, Radiant Courier goes down. Another swift snipe right there. It looks like from Z Freak. Vantage <laughs> looking to take it to Complexity side while they're probably banking on oh, the back. No. Who is Faded farming it up? But yeah, the sweet little blueberry rune just looks so tasty. Moo unfortunately gonna pay the price for trying to go for it. He still wanted to get and grab it, but he does pay for his life. He could deny it at least. Demon is gonna be the next victim as he is nearby. Forev looking to go in for any. And Complex is like, there's no way they fight without their bristleback, right? I can take this room. So lo and behold, Roger Bader. Glimpse sent back. That's to the bottom lane. Hero! Long gone from this one and no TP. That means that DC can kind of just begin to go in now. After now clearing out Swindle Melons, they don't have to worry about his big dunk defense. And that's going to be a tier 3 down and possibly the racks. Look at Dubu. Oh, he's going to send him back send him even back further! Oh, Firo's never going to be able to make oh, it back home. It feels like a time, time travel hop. Now he's, now he's isolated. He's back all the time. Oh my god. Hero back now, but he's back into a Laguna. <laughs> back to the grave. Fine, and with the Sun Strike, he needs 10 seconds before he can even TP out. These Sun Strikes are not connecting throughout the whole game. Uh, there's, there's no real good setup. Oh, it is getting hot now. Forever trying to move in while it is going to be Hero and Mason going toe to toe up and above. A big stack storm going to be dropped right on top of Team Freak. That will easily take him down. Laguna on for Demon. And he will try to make a TP, but uh, they will have a stun waiting for him. Mason's still waiting up here, stunned up. The rest of Complexity now desperately try to make it out here. Part complete for the Bristleback there. To get them back into the game. That's true, yeah. Well, has Mason picked up that heart yet? Yeah. He has it in hand now. It looks like he spotted out Z-Freak. Hard to be a bounty hunter at this point in the game. You're trying to move out and catch people from behind with tracks and trying to get the intel provided for your team. You have accomplished in those 30 minutes. Well, they they are getting a lot of pickoffs with this battle. Speak, Speak of, of the, the devil. devil. Nice bat rider initiation lasso pullback. The swindle is kind of tanky here. It's the Yules off afterward, but that only sets up an easier stun for Bulba. Maybe not will be able to proceed to unit. Mason running right in to the front lines and begins to go to work on this tier three. We'll have to see what complexity can do. They're, it's not their tournament life on the line, but they were just one win away from moving on to the grand final. It looks like DC are giving them a run for the money and trying to take it to a full game three. And that's gonna be the tier three down. Mason loses all of his mana. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. DC are still fighting it out. Cole as they move in. Moose says we gotta do something about it. Tries to run in first, maybe in hopes of baiting out some spells or strike. Also this bounty hunter, I mean, he's just doing his own thing, but there's not much contribution actually. Nice stun, cancels up the TP of Mason, and now the four of them are gonna take on the mighty Bristle here. Well, we're moving all of his mana, we'll make it a lot easier, that's for sure. Eats the cheese though, has that mana back. Swindle says we might not want to do this any further. It's been taking way too long. The rest of the team couldn't end up showing up. In fact, they're looking to move over and catch the teammates on the way in. And it looks like they will be rewarded for it. Dubo's been, spo uh, been spotted. Randy KB. KBBQ. KGB. 
KBBQ. KBBQ. Okay. Possibly some KBBQ after they qualify for TI. Let's see though. To pressure, Cold snaps. Cold committing spells to try to keep DC outside the base. Some good damage there under Perev. Now the movement from Swindle. Two man dunk is there, follow Fissure. Then the Static Storm is going to be connecting right on top of Moo, has his BKB, and tries to fight it out. They are going to be able to burst through that first life of Abed. Mason eats a lot of the damage next, but he's still durable enough. Now the return fire coming out Laguna, not going to be enough complexity. Having the hold now, we'll be able to clean up another. Three will be going down, it looks like, as complexity hold their base. Oh, Mason, oh. no! Nearby TP. Oh, yeah. You saw them on top they, when they tried to go on him. Put a Malady Cloud 4. Z Freak spotted out. Forever has that gem. You know, um, it, he's still Invoker. Like, the, those heroes are uh, yeah. very reminiscent. Of oh, oh, all no. the people to find. It's Captain Swindle perched up on the high ground. He's going to be forced to dish out the Echo. Does connect onto the two. And they're almost able to bring down Bulba. Mason, though, still holding on pretty strong here. He will be the first one to be dropped, but Moo is going to be the next one under that gun. He is going to be handled. Deep on the backside, quickly yields up as he tries to get out a good death ward. Buyback going to be forced out from the gyrocopter now. And Complexity may be going all in for this Harava defense. It looks like they barely managed to be able to get Dubu. No, Firo rushes past him, sees up Ed, dances around him a bit. Forev, all oh, blinks, but he only gets to the high ground. He ends up going down. That's a gem on the deck that Seafrick is going to be able to move in and pick up. Mason still running around as they try to maybe kite back this bristle back. Moo is going to be eating his own homing missile now. On the other front, they chase down Firo. Mason and Abed looking to pursue. Firo is able to make it out the other direction. Now Mason has to help out Abed, who's trapped on the other oh side. No. Next to that fissure. Swindle gets hit with the Laguna. The Dragon Slave over auto attack. Not quite enough to get the finish. Over on the other side, double deafening blast coming up from Firo and Cole trying to surround onto DC at this moment. Bulba has returned from the dead. Not bad. We'll trade it out for the Yules for now. They have to commit uh, buyback on Gyro. So you still don't feel the impact. Trying to get feisty here, fighting between three DC members. This one, that was 7 to 13 now. Tough game for your bounty hunter. Tried to take this into a late game scale. Mason's already making his move in. He has the cheats. This is almost like an extra life for here, Bristleback. Him and Abed, though, are sieging out. It's going to be already forcing out the glyph from Cole. They already lost one set of racks here, mind you. So this is going to be the third one to go down. Mason's there first, kind of stuck within this ice wall. Cole themselves in the lane. Oh, oh, oh they are so, so close. What is happening? Do they know? Oh, oh is the running lead up. Oh, they yes. got the lead up first. They move it with a dunk. And they'll take out her extra life. Quickly, though, a follow up from Ferev. Grabs a hold of that Moo Gyrocopter, tries to pull them within nice the trees, but they Jan wait for Toto. the second life. Swindle Melons is there and ready. Bulba making his move in with the epicenter, though, plus the call down. And they are going to be able to get the takedown of a bed, but it's Mason, the next big boss. Popping his BKB and now trying to run out and away. What can Cole do with this bit of momentum? They plan a new angle they can finagle in there. This Here one definitely won't work though. Uh, this time though, Karev is waiting for him, scouts the report, grabs a hold of Demon and pulls him into certain death. Moo has the follow oh, no. Oh, no! That is not the dunk. Moo is going to be going down first as he fights things out with the BKB. Swindle could be next, it looks like, on the back end of his Echo. He gets the Yules, but they have a stack from waiting on him. He goes on down. He's trying to run on forward, going for Abed. Abed, low on life. Gets the Lotus up, but the Tornado was there and will take him out. But the rest of DC are still here and in good fighting shape. So they begin to move in and try to hit up the Tier 3. Buybacks must come out now from Cole if they're hoping to survive in this game number 2. There goes Swindles as well. The Tier 3 is already dropped. Mason, oh, he's trying to move on forward and try to take down this Rax if he can. Meanwhile, Forev getting jumped on from the back lines. It's going to be Firo moving in. Mason's going to be forced to pull off and try to help him out. And it turns into a 3-on-1. Z freaking Swindle. They're in the mix too, but it's Mason with a BKB and they can't do anything about it. So he simply clobbers him down. And that is going to be the, the finish off of Firo. He does buy back though. He comes back into action. Hits him with the tornado and the ice wall. Swindle able to blink back it away. Mason can barely move and he wants to go for the racks, but then there's going to be another lasso. This grab onto Z Freak, the pullback. Forever though, himself now in trouble. Hit with a tornado, he'll go down. 
buyback from the gyrocopter now. Cold is pulling out everything they can to stay alive in this game, and it looks like they've been able to fend off DC for now, chasing down Bulba. They will find the connection and find the finish there. Did they just five man buyback? Yeah. Next fight, uh, Lina still didn't die. The four man bought back. Four man bought back. So, the, the, yeah. so Lina didn't have to use buyback. Eternal on it. Move from DC here. They smoke, they move in, they get the pop of the Lincolns, and then the lasso grab onto Firo. They're looking to pull out the uh, Invoker. Stack Storm and Laguna. Still quite not enough. He gets the Ghost Walk and he's running out of the way. Oh, One last long no. right click. It's not going to find its connection. Swindle moves in to slow them down with the help of a dunk. And it looks like they will be able to get the takedown of Abed. Cole still trying to find it out. Bulba, back line, big epicenter. Scoots himself up to the high ground and away from trouble. But Cole looks like might need to bail out Moo here. He's been glimpsed and pulled back into the arms of Mason. Mason will do his best to slowly wither down the gyrocopter. And there's no escape for him. Now a Fissure follow-up from Swindle. Looking to move in. A Chant Totem trying to burst through Bulba. And a buyback is going to be forced out from Ferev. Two-man tornado. Firo's back into action here. Gets the Sun Strike. Still not enough yet for Bulba. Self Yules. Burrow across to the high ground. Swindles there. Gets the connection. Gets the finish. Ferev now blinking in. While that happens, it's Mason getting kited between Z Freak and Firo on the other end. While Swindle keeps Ferev occupied. Mason just cannot make it through these ice walls and tries to get back into the fight. This time he's found the target in for Swindle, but Z Freak is trying to slow him down. Long Tornado finds its mark onto Mason. The Sun Strike on the other side gets its mark onto Ferev. Firo is just putting in the work in this long winded fight. Defend the base. Rain Tracks under attack, boys. Holy oh, shnikes, no. that's gone for sure. <laughs> oh my god, look at all those creeps. And that's for each strike, so it's 100 inch in total. Yeah, but he's having a kinetic field uh, three seconds before in the engagement right now. Hard move in. Bulba going to be the focus of this. They get the lasso grab onto Swindle as he gets dragged back in. Mason's going to hit him with the Abyssal Blade, and they're going to try to finish him off before he can get any sort of dunk off, and they will be successful with it. Swindle out. No buyback on this. It's oh, what a hero, oh, but Doobu. Jeez, Dubu just lays down a godly stag storm that traps the three of them from within. Demon is going to be the first low target to go down. Firo is trying to muscle away the opponent's support. And Dubu is still not going to be finished here. It looks like they will get the better end. Onto Firo. All of complexity with the exception of that. <laughs> Very nice. So dumb. Three man all in there by Dubu. Yeah. Um, he's played much better this game. Like, I, I like his decision to rotate early. Uh, the, they just can't stop him. They just do too much. Megas are going to be unleashed, and Cole are uh, earn their ticket into a game three of this lower bracket final. Last tier four is down, and now it's all on the ancient here. Mason Orch begins to go to work, but then they find their opportunity to make the grab onto Moo. He's got his BKB pop, but they pull him right in and under a static storm. He will slowly be burnt away, and the hero should be next. At this point, the towel surely must be thrown in, and there it goes. Complexity will fourth bit this one over, and it is going to be a game three lower bracket final matchup between DC and Complexity. Woo! Woo. Bristleback just too strong.